All right. What's up? This is a uh, unboxing of all my macro meals. This is the second week I've got them. I did a little unboxing thing on TikTok, but this is going to be a nice proper one. So, grab my scissors. Um, these meals are all made to be relatively healthy and fuel you, fuel you uh, quite well for workouts and post-workouts and things like that. Um, luckily, Macros has a lot of the meals I like, so I was able to get, I bought a 10 pack of meals and they're all different, so even though I don't mind eating the same thing every day for like forever, but, um, oh, they did this different this time. Last time it was just a bit of tape, now it's like glued down. Uh, I'll just cut through here. Yeah. I'm gonna do that instead. All right. Put this here. Might have to block that out. Let's put that there. Uh, let's have meals we got. We got uh, Massaman beef curry. This one has 574 calories and 33 grams of protein. You know, it has the carbs and fats, but I'm just keeping the. I'm not going to go too detailed into it. Then we've got spaghetti bolognese, 417 calories, 26 grams of protein. Uh, Korean beef bibi bap. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but it's got 483 calories, 33 grams of protein. I had this one last week and it was really good. It was sort of like a test of me. I wasn't too sure if I'd like it, but I did. Then I got ch uh, satay chicken, um, 506 calories, 33 grams of protein, and then what? Chicken tenders with spuds and smoky mayo. This one was good, 388 calories, 39 grams of protein. That's a good one. Uh, butter chicken and turmeric potatoes. This one was the first one I had. That was the best butter chicken I've ever had. 502 calories, 35 grams of protein. And then I had, <laughs> it's all squished to the side because it's mashed potatoes, but bangers and sweet potato mash, another really good one. I'll try and spread it out, it's all frozen, that's all right. 370 calories, 24 grams of protein. And then we've got Beef Rogan Josh, this one was pretty good as well. Uh, 359 calories, 33 grams of protein. Uh, a lasagna, this one was like the most minced out lasagna I've ever had. Still pretty good. Uh, 575 calories, 34 grams of protein. And the last one, uh, buffalo chicken and mac. Uh, what is it? 468 calories, 44 grams of protein. So I got my 10 meals. I sort of aim to have them Monday to Friday for lunch and dinner. And then for breakfast, I've just been having Turkish roll with cream cheese, three eggs, and then like barbecue sauce. It's pretty simple, but it's really nice. And yeah, I don't know the macros on that exactly, but those are the meals for the week. We got right now it's Saturday, so they get delivered on Saturdays, but I got a class on. I think there's, it's either gonna be three or four of us. I'm hoping it's three because then it's easy to write up a team workout with three people. But if it's four, we'll just do a partner workout, two, two pairs. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But I have to do this workout though. Usually I wouldn't do a Saturday, but I'm gonna do it because I missed out on like the Tuesday because I had a terrible sleep the night before and all of that. So I'm gonna make up for it by doing this today's workout. But yeah, I'll film a little couple clips of that and see how we go. Cool.
packed. Quick little sign up from that workout. So we ended up doing 20 minute AMRAP, uh, 10 box tap downs to practice single leg squats. I can do pistol squats, but it's good practice to, to keep the stability anyway. And then 10 kettlebell snatches, like in a five each arm, and then 10 overhead squats. And I did it with Lizzie, and you do it round, alternating rounds. Oh, that's my hand. You do it alternating rounds, and um, every round though, you add weight onto your overhead squats. So you start, I started with 20, then I just went up 10 kilos each round. My last round that I completed with overhead squats was at 60, so that was the fifth round. Um, I was in my sixth round, when the timer went off, I, was, I had two kettlebell snatches left. But the workout wasn't too bad. The, the overhead squats got really hard. And because it was more of a skill-based workout with the tap downs and the overhead squat balance, my goal for the workout was to do all the overhead squat sets unbroken. Um, it was just a good little mental push. Because for me, I could just be like, oh, I'll do four and then have a little rest, pick it up and do another four. and like break it up heaps when I don't need to because I know I can squat the weight. Um, so on the last round, I was like, or well, halfway through the workout, I was, I was like tempted just to like tell Lizzie, I was like, oh, it's okay if you drop it, just pick it up and go quick. But th then if I knew if I said that out loud, it'd be mentally okay for us to drop it and then go. Whereas I was just trying to hold off as long as I can. So did a big push for the last round, it took me extra long, but that's all right. Um, yeah, wasn't too bad a workout. Now I'm just gonna chill out for the Saturday. Glad I did a little bit of extra workout this weekend. Woo. See you later.